Well, good morning, Poppity Riders. Welcome back to the channel. I had actually filmed this on the bike, and for some reason, my GoPro didn't pick up, so I'm doing a voiceover for the intro to this video. But welcome to this week's video. I'm doing my weekly scavenger hunt. This week is for fire hydrants. But first of all, I want to say welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Tim Marshburn. This channel is Poppity Rides, and I do motorcycle vlogs and other things motorcycle related. Um, you guys that have been following the channel for a while know that I just recently got the bike that I'm riding on right now, and we've been trying to name her, and I've got a lot of suggestions from folks, but the suggestion that stuck with me was from a couple of my subscribers who said I should name it after one of my grandmothers. So my grandmother on my father's side, it was Emma Ray Lockamy, and uh, she was around a lot when I was young, and I loved that woman, so I'm going to call this bike Emma Ray, Emma. And so well, let's welcome Emma to the channel. We're going to have a lot of good time out riding on her. But um, I'm riding today looking for fire hydrants for my weekly scavenger hunt for the Mal Monsters. And Mal Monsters, you can get more information on that. I'll leave a link here. It's an organization that helps these five boys that have Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. And our scavenger hunt is basically just a way for us to help raise money for that. Each of us purchased a flag and we use that flag to go out and hunt the weekly items. I'm also uh, going to participate in the Monster 1K, which is a thousand mile ride that we are doing on June 21st. And um, everybody is, that's doing this ride is committing to try to raise a thousand dollars. So if you want to support me in that, um, I'll have a link and a uh, QR code in the video right here. I'll put the QR code and then I'll have a link in the description below. Um, you can support me on that ride and that's going to be on June 21st I'll ride a thousand miles they're going to actually uh, a lot of them are going to ride out to the center of the United States and wind up in Lebanon Kansas and those that wind up in Lebanon Kansas they're going to have a big party out there on June 22nd um, and all five of the boys will be there but this year the funds are particularly to help Jack and Alfie um, and Alfie has an organization called Fight for Alfie. Jack has an organization called Jack's Journey. You can find those guys on Facebook. If you Google it, you'll see there and you'll see more about those boys. But I'm going to put descriptions in this video of all the boys and what they've got going on um, so you can find them and help support their cause. But this year we're raising money to help Jack and Alfie come to the United States uh, for their treatments and help them live their best life. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll get back to travel videos um, as soon as I'm able to go traveling some. But for now, these weekly scavenger hunts, when I'm able to do them, I'm going to get out and ride and do the weekly scavenger hunts. Um, some weeks I won't be available to do that. Um, so when I'm not available to do the weekly scavenger hunts, um, there may not be a video. My wife and I are going to Alaska. I'll probably do a video on that. We're taking a cruise up there. Um, but I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed to the channel. Um, I'm enjoying doing this. hope you're enjoying following along. And uh, with that said, let's get into today's video. These guys aren't here, so... I didn't get station 30, but I'll come back here in a little while. Let's go to 17, which is Jackhammer's. That's Jack over in Allen. They call him Jackhammer. That's his number, 17. So we're going to get fire trucks at fire station number 17 in Charlotte for Jackhammer. Right. 
<laughs> Alright guys, we're here at Fire Station 17. We've got the blaze trucks, but old buddy of mine, Randy McCown, is getting ready to retire. He said he got a couple of shifts left, but he drives one of these big beasts right here. And so we're going to see if we can get a picture of all that, but I, I don't want to get a picture. Hey guys, man, this is my buddy Randy. We call him Round. How long have you been in Charlotte Fire Department? Be 28 years this May. He's got five shifts left and he's retiring, so wish him happy retirement. But he drives this big blaze truck right here. Um, and I just looked up and happened to be here on the day that he was here. And uh, I met some of the young guys. I said, If anybody old's here, they'll know me. Because <laughs> the young guys didn't know who I was. But uh, we got us some pictures for the video. And Randy's a great guy, man. I miss him. I miss him. He also Appreciate rides motorcycles. Him, so, uh, you still riding the gold wing? Oh, yeah. And we won't hold that against him. It's okay. But, uh, well, I actually break down as much as you do. Hey, I don't break down like, you know, <laughs> these new Harleys aren't like the old ones. They don't mark the territory and ride the back of the truck like the old ones did. But, uh, years ago, man, back when I had my Kawasaki, me and Randy took off one day, ran down to Charleston, went to Justine's Kitchen, and I was trying to decide if I was going to get a gold wing or not, um, or if I was going to get a Harley because, uh, I didn't know. So we swapped bikes and rode, I rode his Goldwing back, and man, it was a sweet riding motorcycle, but I missed the, the vibration and the V-twin feel. So that's why I came to Harley instead of Goldwing, but I came really close to getting the Goldwing. I love you, brother. I love you, buddy. <laughs> Good, to see you. Good to see you, man. Can I take the motorcycle right there? Yeah, just don't go past the red line. Here. So while I was visiting with Randy, uh, an Alert 1, which is an aircraft emergency, came in. And if you've ever seen that at the airport where all of the blaze units and all the, air, the fire trucks go out and they follow the aircraft in distress down the runway, that's what we're preparing to do here. Um, the emergency at this particular point was happening on the runway that this fire station sits on. So we didn't have to go anywhere. We just pulled out onto the tarmac and sat on the apron right beside of the runway and waited for the aircraft to come past. Had it occurred on a different runway, we would have gone across the airfield and, uh, and followed the aircraft down the runway where the emergency was at. So we didn't go anywhere. I just thought it was kind of cool to have the opportunity to go out here with these guys and wait on this aircraft to land. Uh, it all landed safely and everything was fine. And a pretty cool day, and it was good to reminisce back and uh, think about my days at work with uh, the guys here at the All airport. right, guys. Like I said, I'm out hunting fire trucks, and today in particular, I'm getting fire trucks that have the numbers of our heroes. So we just left Fire Chaser 17, and that is Jack's number, Jack Hammer's number. And now we're headed to Fire Station 12. And 12 is Alfie's number. You can check him out at Fight for Alfie. I'll have a link in the description here below. But this fire station, actually, I was stationed here for about seven years of my career. I worked at this fire station. We had 24-hour uh, shifts, and I worked here every third day. This was my area and my station. The shirt I have on today is a Fire Station 12 T-shirt. Um, I still get their t-shirts every year. They'll have a St. Patrick's Day t-shirt or a Halloween t-shirt, and I'll get one of those. Um, a lot of memories in this station, but hopefully they're in the house. Uh, there's no longer an ambulance stationed here all the time. The ambulances went off of 24-hour shifts a number of years ago, actually. But when I was on 24-hour shifts, this is one of the fire stations that I was stationed at. And like I said, for a number of years, I was stationed right here. So let's go get 
fire truck number 12. And I think they have a tanker here as well. We'll get that. Look at there, the door's even open. We'll get us a picture and go in here and say hello to the guy. Fire station 12, Alfie's number, got my picture. Um, none of these guys here knew me. Nobody that I work with is here today. Uh, they worked yesterday. But he gave some patches for the boys, so we'll make sure we get all the addresses and get these out to the boys. And uh, yeah, let's go to fire station number seven. All right, guys, our next firehouse that we're going to is fire station number seven. I, right here at fire station two, where there's nobody in it, so I wasn't able to get any pictures there. But we go to fire station seven, that is Turbo's number. So check out Turbo Time on YouTube or Turbo Time on Facebook, and uh, you can check out Turbo. But we're gonna go get fire truck number seven for Turbo. It is in the NODOC community, the North Davidson community of Charlotte, and it's one of the oldest firehouses in Charlotte. Not necessarily the oldest fire truck, um, but it is an old firehouse. So let's go check it out. another day well guys I struck out here at fire station number seven these guys are out of the house I've waited for a few minutes I have no way to find out where they're at I used to be able to figure that out when I was working for medic I could look on an app that I had and I could tell if there's any calls in the area but I can't do that anymore so I'm gonna give them a couple more minutes hopefully they'll show up if not I'll come back over here on uh, Saturday or Sunday and try to get number seven for turbo but this is firehouse number seven and it's one of the older firehouses here in Charlotte um, so these guys won't be here in a minute and we'll go to fire station 11 Guys, we're at Fire Station 11, and I spent a few nights working out of this station as well back in the day. But uh, I don't know anybody that's here today or not. But let's see if we can get a picture of a fire truck and spread some awareness about DMV. All right, let's see.
Yeah, I'm raising awareness for these boys that have Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, so they uh, they have a scavenger hunt every week. Okay. And this week it's fire trucks. Okay. But we have five particular boys that we raise money for, and they all have numbers assigned to us. A little boy named Drew, his number is 11. So getting rescue 11 would be kind of cool for him. And they were overall trying to raise money to help them with their treatments and anything else they might need, you know. Right. We're doing a big ride on uh, June 21st. Uh, a bunch of us are going to ride a thousand miles and try to raise a thousand dollars each. Oh, wow. Got to get number 11 there. Got to come in. Um, the boys we're coming out with the money with are uh, two boys that live in Ireland, Jack and Alfie. They have to uh, come to the States for treatment. Y'all be safe. Take care, guys. All right, man. Take care. Guys, I found out that fire station number seven that trained it today. That's why they weren't in the house. So I'll have to come back over here on another day. Guys, we're going to tag number 18 here real quick and then hit the 13. I got to get to the house. Completely how are you guys? Good, how are you? How are you doing, man? Stop grabbing a fire truck for the scavenger hunt. So, it, uh, it's an organization called Mile Monsters I've been riding for for a couple of years now, but they raise money to help these boys that have Duchenne's muscular dystrophy for the treatments and stuff. And um, this year, we're trying to raise money for these little boys in Ireland to come over here where well, they come over here and get treatment to help them with that those expenses and that kind of thing. But the scavenger hunt's a weekly thing we're out trying to get whatever they want us to get, right? So this week it's fire trucks. It's the first day I've had an opportunity to get out. The five boys all have numbers assigned to them. So 17, 12, 11, 7, and 13. So I'm trying to make those sessions a legal day. But since I was between 11 and 13, I lost on my 18 and I'm going to grab a picture real quick. We have one of them for a picture of my office. You go right there. Okay. They're about nine or ten years old. They lose their ability to walk, and they probably won't live for their years if they live that long. So, so sixteen to twenty-four. Oh, what's that now? That's yeah. a little latest thing down. Do it out of our area. We got to get lunch. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't want to lay it down anywhere, but uh, I don't want to lay it down. I'm gonna go here to that's thirteen and, but I'm gonna go to thirteen and get a couple of pictures. And my wife has a pre-op appointment for her cataract surgery this afternoon, so I got to get home. Good seeing you. Good seeing y'all, man. Y'all be safe. All right, guys, we got fire station 18 in there. At least we got tower 18. The engine was out, so we only got one of the fire trucks that was there. But able to talk to those guys a little bit, spread a little bit more awareness about DMD. And now, let's go get Gavin's number, 13. Gavin's the goat, man. Check out Stubborn Goat Coffee. And uh, you can see more about Gavin there and help sponsor his family's effort uh, in getting his treatments and that kind of thing. Stubborn Goat Coffee. I'll put a link in the description below. But Fire Station 13 is where we're going now. And it's a important fire station in the city of Charlotte because it houses some specialized equipment. So let's go check that out. And hopefully those guys are there and we'll be able to see the trucks and the equipment. The cool thing about Fire Station 13 is it is in the neighborhood where I was born. So this is where my parents lived, right here off the interstate, which was not even here then. The interstate wasn't here, but they lived here off of Glenwood Drive. As a matter of fact, um, heck, let's ride down the road and I'll show you the house my parents lived in when I was born. And then we'll go to the firehouse. So the firehouse is down the road to the right here, but my parents lived on the Wolf Street here in Charlotte when I was born. So let's ride over there and look at the house. My dad worked for Southern Railroad. 
uh, back then it was called Southern Railroad now it's called Norfolk Southern but the Wolf Street is right here and like I said the interstate wasn't there back then but this is the road that we lived on when I was born and right down here at the bottom of the hill is the house so this house second from the end of the road right here is the house my parents lived in when I was born actually I told a fib <laughs> it wasn't 609 it was this house right here 615 DeWolf Street that's where my parents lived when I was born that house right there All right, let's go to the firehouse. Well, all right. At least one of the trucks is here. So guys, this is Fire Station 13, and this is where the Charlotte Hazmat team is located, and they're a regional hazmat team. So let's uh, get a picture of the ladder, the engine, and the hazmat. All right, guys, the ladder actually got a call while I was talking to the captain, but we got a picture of the engine, the hazmat truck, and the ladder while we were here. And I got to get home because my wife has a, a pre-op appointment for surgery this afternoon, and I told her I'd be back before that. So we're headed back to the house. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I was just trying to raise that awareness for DMD and I was able to get pictures of fire trucks with the numbers of the boys except for fire station 7 because they're out at training I found out while I was at 11 so we'll go back and get fire station and, and truck number 7 uh, for turbo at another point but it's time for me to get to the house guys if you want to sponsor my monster 1k ride I'll have a link and a QR code here in the video. I'll have a link down in the description. I'm also going to link as much information as I can about each boy in the description of this video because they, they all have fundraisers that their families do to help them as well, each individually. The Mal Monsters helps them collectively, and each year our big rides is uh, to sponsor a particular boy or a particular couple of boys this year uh, in, in the case of this year so I appreciate you following along I appreciate you considering to donate and uh, get out there live life and make memories and I'll catch you on the next ride